Oh Hi. Lots of people have been asking, how do I do the skin on my orders? Um, mainly Molly. He always asks me. Like every time I see him, he asks me. So if I put a video on YouTube, you can watch that. Okay, what you're going to need is a um, detail brush, uh, some dark angels green, some goblin green, and a palette. That's all you need for this, it's just a couple of colours and a palette. It doesn't even have to be a palette, you can use a tile or something. So, the first step is to just coat the skin in dark angels green totally. Just the entire thing. Get quite a thick amount on your brush and just cut it. Okay, so I'm just going to let that dry and then I'll be right back. Okay, as you can see in my palette, I've mixed up a three part Dark Angels Green, one part Goblin Green mix, and I'm going to apply this to the skin quite thoroughly, leaving uh, a little bit of the um, Dark Angels Green showing through, but you don't want to leave a lot. And when you do this, what I find best is if you pull it across the skin, it will leave some in the gaps and then all you've got to do is go back and clean it up later. If you just do this. Okay, so I'll do the hand off camera, but um, it's only in the deepest areas you have to leave the, the Dark Angels green. Um, and then I'll let that dry, and I'll paint the hand off camera, and I'll be right back. Okay, for the next bit, I've mixed up a 50-50 mix of Dark Angels Green and Goblin Green. I'm going to apply this in the same way that I did the last one, but instead leaving more of the previous colour showing than I did last time. Okay, um, I'm going to paint the hand off camera again, um, and I'll be like that. Okay, this next colour is um, three parts Goblin Green and one part Dark Angels Green. I'm apply it in the same way as the last one, but this time leaving a lot of the previous colour showing. and don't touch it up. Lol, I said touch it up. This is the last highlight. Um, see you in a 
sec. Okay, this final highlight is straight goblin green, and you don't want to apply this many places at all. Like, all you really want to apply it on is like the knuckles and um, the their brow and their their jaws, like the really high standing out bit, maybe even on veins and stuff. So, I'll do this one closer. You just put it. And um, once you've done all that, every one of those colours should come out um, a bit like this guy. Um, you can see him. He's quite cool. You can probably see that the skin's quite good on him. But I do have models with better skin, I'll get one. It comes out different every time. That is a problem with this. It can be a bit unpredictable, but it's it's still pretty cool. I actually I've developed this <laughs> over a few years of painting. I've been painting for three years, orcs for one of them. Um and well, yeah. Should come out like one of those, hopefully.